everybody. Oh, happy Friday. Happy Friday. Yeah. Happy Friday, honey. Happy Friday. Woohoo! We made it. It actually was oh, a... go ahead. It was a pretty fast day today. What it was a fast... Ta- I'm going to send tags out. Hi, Tag, you're it. Tag, you're, you're it. it. You're it. Paula, James, that's me, Mary Jo, Brittany, Janet, Hannah, Mom, Tom, Adina, Morgan, <laughs> all the moms. Woohoo! Yay. I had a fun afternoon, too. You did? Because guess what I did? What did I do? I had a half day at work, and I went down to Tommy's and helped stage his house for um, his um, trying to sell it. So he has some open houses coming up, so... Um, like, you know, um, what do they call it? Um, when yeah. people come and look at your house? Yeah. I guess that's the right word. But anyways, he has people coming to look at his house to sell, so um, we were um, staging it. So I had fun. We got to work out. And we're really Thanks, ho- Tom. We're really hoping that um, uh, it sells for him. And, yeah. Uh, keep him in your prayers and um, just, he, he needs to get this done. That's right. So. But we had fun. We just, we staged it. We did an HGTV stage. It looked good, too. Home renovations. The, I saw a picture. <laughs> That's so, funny. It looked really good. And your day went fast? It was a fast day. It was just busy, and um, we got to help a lot of people, which I love that part. Yeah, so. that's, that's cool. cool. Yay. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys all had a good day, too. If yeah. you did something fun today, let us know. Anything fun. Whatever it is. <laughs> Even if it's putting paper clips together. That's fun. It is. That's true. And then we had so much fun after we got done having fun. We came home and had more fun because we mowed the yard. This. <laughs> I can't wait to do it again. <laughs> Anyways, now we get the seriousness. <laughs> well, well, today was Acts 27. It's fun. It's a sailing story. Yeah, and uh, it's quite a cr- crazy sailing story, actually. I wouldn't like it. I hope everybody read it because it was just it's just amazing what uh, Paul went through on this. And the details, too. Yeah, yeah, really. I think so, that's cool. Um, and you have a starting off as yep. Bardic. Woohoo! Um, I had a note on number one, and it's just kind of neat because where it says that um, that we should sail for Italy, the we is Paul, and guess who? Luke? Luke. Luke! Luke is back. Yep. So, remember, Paul likes Luke. Luke, I mean, like, um, Luke is like his apprentice, and so Luke's back in the picture. And what's neat, though, is in the footnote, it was saying that Luke's kind of been there the whole time when he was... Um, um, in jail, and he was kind of tending to Paul and taking care of him and stuff like that. So it's kind of cool, but now they're traveling again, so that's cool together. Mm-hmm. So even though, you know, Paul's still imprisoned on the ship, Paul, um, at least Luke's with him. Yeah, yeah, and uh, Luke is the one who wrote this, so <coughs> very interesting. Yeah, hi, <laughs> Mom. Hello, Mom. And so um, after that, uh, if you read the story or whatever, um, they got on the ship, they uh, sailed for a while, they went to... Um, uh, one place and stayed a day, and then Paul got to get out and meet some people that were uh, Christians. Yeah, and they attended to him and helped him out. Uh, and then he sailed for a bit longer, but they they had trouble with a lot of winds because this time of year. Anyway. Yeah, it was getting colder, and the winds were getting chop or the seas were getting choppy. It's a dangerous time to sail. So, like my note in number nine is just that is because it said that um, the voyage was now dangerous because even the fast was already over, and the fast is a certain time of year. Um, so one of their feasts or you know, festivities or whatever, but, um, it's like the end of September. So when they're traveling on the water, it's like the end of September, early October. And that's uh, a dangerous time. Like pretty much, um, sailors would not go out in the waters, um, during the winter because it was so rough and dangerous. If you did, you pretty much would croak. And of course, Paul gets on the one ship that the guy will do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, this is how this whole thing's been. That's right. And uh, so, yeah, and Paul tries to tell him, sir, the voyage is going to be something like, it's going to be destructive. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're probably going to lose our lives. Mm-hmm. But um, uh, they, uh, what, really what they wanted to do, though, on the island that we're at, I think it was uh, Crete. But anyway, the island they were at, what they were really trying to do is, the sailors were thinking, let's get on the other side of the island and be safe for the winter. And Paul was just telling them, well, that's not going to work this time. Mm-hmm. So, and it didn't. It because didn't. as soon as they set out, well, they set out and it was going smooth because they had a, the right south wind pushing the right way. But then the north wind came through, uh, came through and pushed them farther back out towards the sea. So I would be so seasick. And it'd be scary. I mean, it this would. is some scary stuff. Um, Cold water, at winds. One, at one point, the storms were so bad that they didn't see the stars or the sky for days. It said uh, neither sun nor stars appear for many days. That's I mean, awful. that's scary. You don't really know where you're going. No. What a mess. You know? That'd be awful. So, um, that just terrifies me anyway. I hate water. I know. <laughs> Water's bad. <laughs> but, um, so, and they even had to uh, try to shore up the ship. Mm-hmm. And um, the way I read about what they do there is um, trying to shore it up, they take their tackle and their chains and stuff and they wrap it around the boat 
and they tighten it up against the wood. That way it doesn't break apart in a storm. That's awful. So I can't imagine. But you said shore up your ship. Shore up your ship. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, they ended up even uh, throwing most of their food and stuff over mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But um, I like verse 24 because uh, an angel of God uh, talks to Paul. And he says the same thing that Jesus had said before. He said, uh, you have to stand before Caesar. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and so... No matter what, you're going. You're going to get there. And all your guys are going to get there. So that's pretty cool. And um, so, and then verse 25, you have something there. I do. And I love verse 25 because Paul's telling the other guys on the on the boat, take heart, don't worry. Um, I have enough faith in what God's told me that we're all going to be okay. And I just think that's really cool because he's saying, even if you guys don't have faith and you don't even know God, don't worry. I have enough faith for all of us to um, get us through that's, with yeah. God's grace, of course. But that's yeah. so cool. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's really neat to be that strong. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I love it. Yeah. And uh, so I like that. And then, of course, they uh, set back out for a little bit. And then they went a little ways and they finally ran into some rocks and they were mm-hmm. stuck there. But uh, they ended up going to, what's the island called? Um, where are you, island? I don't know, but while it's he's so looking up that, there's 276 people on board, too. And also, by while he's looking up for the island's name, um, they even had to, um, they hadn't had a lot of food. And so they did get to eat some food. Paul had them all eat. But they even had to throw their bread overboard at the end because they had to try and just get rid of stuff. But Paul did say all the people have to stay on board because if they go out and try to swim to shore or whatever, mm-hmm. they're going to die. And I just know that they're all going to be okay if they stay on board. So they actually trusted in him and got rid of the um, the rowboats and set, cut them, and they went off. Yeah. So that was cool. So the people did trust Paul. Yeah, they did. Uh, it was funny. It, the funny scenario about that, though, is they were trying to sneak off the ship. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, they're putting the boats down saying, oh, we're going to go check the chains and the tackle. You guys just wait there for a minute mm-hmm. kind of thing. And uh, they were just going to be like... <laughs> but... Uh, you know, Paul caught them for their for their sake. I'm glad he, That's true. he did. But um, so anyway, uh, I never did you find it? It's the shipwreck. Where is that island at? It's kind of an important island. Well, anyway, the shipwreck. Where Go back it? up a little bit higher. The like the previous little chapter thing. But it, is, it sounds like an awful journey, and um, just going that late in the in the season. But um. And the story is exciting, so we'll get to read just a little bit more hmm. um, to hear what happens. I can't find it. But um, one thing I will say I did last night, and I put a, a map on hmm. uh, Facebook today of Paul's journey. And I um, that uh, was that Google Earth. I was play, playing around on there, and I was looking at all those places that um, that are all these islands and stuff. And just looking at them, it was just interesting to see the land there. And a lot of the stuff from the, you know, Way, way back is still there. Old buildings and things like that. So it's kind of neat. Malta. <laughs> Uh-oh. The name of the island is Malta. Malta. Hmm. Malted milk. Malta. Yeah, Malta. So they look good. But I do like your map, though. Yeah, and uh, um, I looked at Crete, and that was cool. There's actually a, a bay there called uh, Bay of St. Paul. Ah. You know, so it's kind of neat. Just some That's of the old names cool. and stuff like that. So very if, neat. So you have Google... Google Earth, and when you're looking at some of these places, you can just kind of see what's in there. Just, uh, Which, again, makes it so cool because it's so real. It's real places. Is it because it really happened? All yeah. this is really real. So. It's awesome. God is awesome. Yeah. Well, that's it for right now. I hate to leave the whole weekend because um, we're right there on Acts 28, and it's a good story of the shipwreck and, you know, the ship journey. Mm-hmm. But um, rest up over the weekend, and we'll find out what happens on Monday. Yes, we will. Uh, Paul will maybe be making it to Rome soon. Woohoo! Well, we hope you guys have a great weekend. Yep, and we love you guys. And have some fun this weekend. Yep. And uh, uh, post some fun stuff you do this weekend. That'd be, That'd be cool, yeah. yeah. All right, guys, Talk we love you me. lots. Love you. Talk to you later. Okay, bye.